And the final app that we're gonna take a look at is Skyward's in-flight app. It's their drone capture portion that we can plan missions on. So let's jump right in. So as you can see, when you pull up the app, you end up, it's a very clean display. Um, the one thing here is it doesn't, it's not intuitive as far as how you plan a mission. Like there's not a big call to action button that says plan a new mission. What you have to do is you have to click on the map where you want to create an operation. So we're gonna do it over the park again and it's a new operation. So like I said, a little bit uh, not intuitive, but once you know how to do it, click and hold, you're good to go. Um, it does give you some information right off the screen, gives you the address, lets you know in your uh, what class of airspace you're in, if your automated proof is available, and if further coordination is also available within the app. So that is nice that this is available um, right here when you start your planning process so you don't run into issues and you know sort of what you need to hit. So here we're gonna hit new operation, gonna bring up a box. I can now change the size of this box just by clicking on the vertices in the corners. Great, I can move the entire box just by clicking and dragging. Great, so now that that's set, you literally just hit set. So it is a workflow driven approach, which I really like. So there's no guessing, you walks you through the process. I like that a lot. Hit set. Great, at this point, you can get Lance directly from this. So it walks you through. You can do a risk assessment, add an automated plan. We're gonna walk through all of these right now, but let's start with just get Lance. We could set the pilot, we could set the aircraft. We can add some notes. If we wanted to add notes to this mission. Uh, and then we can just start with this, get Lance. Great, it's gonna stay within the app. We can request 400 feet. It's all ready for automatic approval, or we can change the request. If I want, only wanted 300 feet, do that right here, request authorization. Go through the terms and conditions of 14 CFR part 107. Agree and send request. Quite simple. Great, request complete, one grid approved. Fantastic, so now we have authorization, our authorization number is there. We can view the authorization right within the app. There it is, fantastic. Getting back into the mission, you have to hit the corner here, right? Not extremely intuitive. That's another thing that I would possibly change just by clicking on the AOI to be able to pull up the mission again. That would be a handy little addition. I can also start a risk assessment and that risk assessment uh, is handy to kind of go through. It's good to go through every single time you fly. It's one of the only apps that has a risk assessment built in. So that's a nice value add for Skyward um, going off of their roots, which is very nice. So you can go through the questions. We'll kind of quickly go through the questions here. It would be really nice if this was built into the app where we could use something, sort of like UAV forecast or another app where you can see these forecasts for all these parameters real time. Because right now it's counting on that you've already checked all of this. And if you haven't, maybe before you do risk assessment to check these factors. Great, now that you're done, we can go back and we can check the summary. Overall, this would be a moderate risk mission based on everything that I just selected. You can pause any compo component of that and go through, but I just sped through just because there's a lot of questions to answer and I wanna get through this. So, here we go. We can also add notes to this risk mitigation. So this is handy, sorry, this is, flying safely is extremely important. So making you question every single time for every single mission is just part of a checklist. If you don't have a checklist, you can make mistakes. And if you're not understanding your risk, you could also make mistakes or things that you just haven't thought of for that specific mission on that day. So pre-planning is important. Understanding all the components of 14 CFR part 107 is important. All of it's important. So taking all this into account, we can move on. The risk summary is now complete. I can now add an automated flight is the next step. I'm going to add, you have three different options, a survey, an orbit, or a point to point. In this case, I'll use survey. It'll go through again. I'm gonna use the Mavic 2. This has less options as far as what it can control than some of the other ones out there. Um, but you can then set it, great. So now I can see the flight area, a uh, number of images, the, uh, basically all of the estimates, the flight mission estimates are here. I can set them or change them. In this case, I want to set. And now I can change, I can adjust the flight area. I can change any of the, uh, I wish these so I could type them in. I cannot, they are just slider bars. I love slider bars because you just can't be super precise with them, <laughs> which is great. 
Um, I can change the overlap, 75, 75. Uh, I can rotate the overall mission. I can set the speed. I can uh, basically, uh, they have this improved 3D mode. I can click that on and what it would do is it would create a perimeter around. So there's more images collected around the perimeter so it'll stitch a little bit easier, be cleaner around the edges. And that's it. Hit done. You can save the name. Call it test. Oh, let's call it test plan. There we go. And now we're ready to fly. So the, you can also add your own, I like you can also add your own uh, checklists in here. If you wanted to add a checklist here, there is a pre-flight. It'll go through all of this, in this case, check equipment for defects. You can check your notams, very important. You can add to that list anything that you want. Make sure your batteries are charged, make sure that you have all of your gear and equipment and everything that you need. Um, all of your safety equipment, all your PPE, all of that can be in this pre-flight checklist. So that is also very nice. And you can add other checklists which is also handy um, with as many items as you want, as many checklists as you want, depending on the type of mission you're doing. So having all this within an app, I think is extremely convenient for the operator. That's Skyward's in-flight app.